Wilson here. Now I'm not going to be doing a card for you today, but I'm going to show you some techniques with gilding flakes. We have uh, 17 different colors at Creative Expressions and they're absolutely lovely. This one is Summer Meadow. You can see you've got a, quite a variation between the greens and the golds there. I'll show you a few more. The um, Autumn Leaves has some reds and yellows and oh, beautiful copper tones in there. And then you have something like the mold wine that's got the deep, rich maroons with the golds. And these are all just gold flakes that have been uh, heated so that the colors change. So you get all sorts of different combinations. Now, to apply gilding flakes, there's a couple of different methods. Um, first off, I'm going to show you our flake and glitter glue. This is done by Cosmic Shimmer, and it's not a regular type of glue. Like, you can't use just any sort of glue to do this with. This is a special glue designed so that it actually doesn't dry until you put the flake on, okay? So to do this, what I do is I like to take a bit of it, and since I'm doing a background, it's going to take a fair bit to cover. I'm going to pop it onto a piece of wax paper here. And anything I don't use, I can put right back into the, um, the bottle so it isn't a problem. And I'm just going to make a palette out of it. Using a piece of cut and dry foam, I'm going to just smooth it out so I can pick it up like it's a, an ink pad. And I'm going to tap it across my background. Now this is the uh, Just Right Secret Garden background. Really lovely. It's got quite a bit of space on it that is um, what I call negative space so it can be covered. So just tap it around. And what you want is something that gives you that type of um, almost a bluish look to it. You don't want it to be too thick, which it would turn white. So this is just about the right consistency. And the thing to remember here is this is a glue. And even though it doesn't dry, it will uh, leave a tacky residue if you leave it on your stamp. So you don't want to take too long doing this. Just make sure it's nice and covered. And now, because I've got a very large stamp, what I like to do is take my card to the stamp. And remember, I said it was a glue, so we need to put it on, rub it off, and peel it off. Okay? So you can see the patterns come through, and yet some of it has still got that blue color. So we're going to set that to the side and wait till that turns tacky. Now, it's important at this point to clean this off of your stamp. So if you're at home, you can just run it under the tap. I use, usually use like a nail brush and just wipe it off. But you can also use a grime boss, anything, just to wipe that glue off of there. So while that's turning tacky, you need to attend to your stamps. You don't want that to ruin and stay on there permanently. There we go. That's looking pretty good there. Okay, we'll set that to the side. And let's see how we're doing back to our stamped image. Now I still have a couple of bits that have a tiny bit of blue to it, so I'm going to give it a minute and just let it set up a tiny bit more. Give it some air and wait till it goes tacky. In the meantime, what I can do is decide which color I want to use. So I've got the, the autumn leaves, I've got the summer meadow, the mold wine here, or the Calypso. And I have to say, this is kind of my favorite. So I think this is the one we're going to be using. And I like to apply my flakes with a piece of Rub It Scrub It pad. It's got a little bit of a textured um, top to it, so it helps refine and spread those flakes around. So I think we're just about there. And like I said, you could set this aside for all the time you need. There's no rush whatsoever in putting that flake on there. So I've got a little bit of a, um, a piece of copy paper underneath me, and I'm just going to pick some up and spread them around. And what I love to do is just get some of the different colors all over, so you can kind of pick through the pot and pick out little sections that are more gold or some that are more blue like this. Really, really nice. Okay, and we'll use our Rub It Scrub It pad just to lightly move that flake around covering up our entire stamped image. And at this point you might think, ooh, that doesn't look very good, but wait. You will see it come to life right in front of your eyes. Move it around. Just get it covered onto that glue nicely. And now we're going to do what I call refining. So we want to take off the excess. So lightly, in a circular motion, we're just going to rub and take off all that extra flake and you can see that pattern come out in front of your eyes. 
absolutely gorgeous. I've used some black card against the background here because I just think it's so pretty. But you can obviously put that onto any color you like. There we go. Tap off the extra. And look how absolutely stunning that is. Now you could easily just cut and mat that, make that into a card on its own, add a sentiment. Oh, it'd be absolutely stunning. But there's other things you can do too, and I want you to point. I want to point out that um, things like this angel is incredibly detailed, and it will still pick up the design from that uh, those gilding flakes. So let me stamp that one for you and show you. We'll pop her onto a, an acrylic block there, and I tell you what, we'll use a different color for her. How about if we use the mold wine? Now I'll tidy up just a tiny bit here that underneath. Same thing, I'm going to use my um, cut and dry foam and just apply a bit onto her. Same exact method. Tapping very, very lightly to get all the little spots. And I'm going to use a piece of white card. Pop that right down in place, give it a good press, and peel it back off. Okay. So you can't see her yet, although I have picked up a few of my loose flakes. So we'll set her there to dry. I'll go back to my grime boss, and I'm going to give her a good wipe just to make sure I get all that glue off. And this is a, a really important thing to do with your stamps. You don't want this glue to stay on there. And because you need that to actually get tacky, it's a perfect thing to do. Go from, from stamping directly into cleaning your stamps. There we go. She's all nice and tidy now. And we are going to use the mold wine on this one. So let's take a look at her now. She looks like she's getting nice and clear. It's a little bit harder to see on the white, but I think we've gotten there. So I'm just going to pop out a few of these, pop them into place, sprinkle it around. And I've got a little bit of moisture on my finger, so it's sticking. We'll just move this around a tiny bit. And like I said, don't worry when you get to this point and you think, oh, that looks a mess. Keep going, move the flake around, and then once you get it completely covered, start to refine it. And I've got a little bit extra on her wing there. There we go. And you can see the detail in her dress come out. She has all these really tiny, fine lines on her. Just keep rubbing lightly and that'll take all the extra flake off. And you can see, let me tap off little bits. Isn't she gorgeous though? Look at all those itty bitty fine lines that come out so beautiful. The flake just picks it up so nice. Now, um, another method you can use with your gilding flakes is rather than using your glue, and let me tidy this up. In fact, I'll put this back into the jar. Why waste it? They are very lightweight and a little flyaway, though, so you don't want to have any fans or anything running. Okay, so another method you can do is um, I have a technique I like to call high-low technique. And I'm going to use a mask for this. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and covered a piece of black card with a self-adhesive sticky sheet. Okay, And in, so I don't have my uh, mask actually stick to that and not be able to be pulled off. I'm going to just do a little bit of covering it with some perfect medium. And that'll give me um, just enough release that I'll be able to easily pull it away. So I'll just do the back of this a little of that and we're going to peel our backing off of this carefully and I'm going to keep that and I can use that to burnish it down with. Put the side with the perfect medium down, pop that into place there, take the waxy side of that and just make sure I've gotten it down really nice. Okay. And let's see, we've used those two. Let's use the, let's use the Summer Meadow. We'll put this one into place. Sprinkle it around. 
And you do get some really large pieces, so you can break them up, use parts of it, however you want to do it. And we're going to move this all around our background. And that will fill in all of that exposed area. Oh, how pretty that's coming out. Okay, so now I did say this was my high-low technique. So this gives you what I call the low, okay? So we're going to fill all this in. And we want to make sure to get all the extra little bits off of here. And let me use just a piece of kitchen roll, and I will lightly wipe the, uh, the top of this off. Don't want to have any flake loose. Okay, get that off my fingers. Now I'm going to get under the edge of this mask. Let me tidy up a tiny bit there. There we go. Get under the edge of that mask and lift it. So you're going to have the black card showing through with the sticky adhesive still on that. And I'm going to use some microbeads here and I'm going to coat it right in here. And that will give me the high part of the technique. Tap it off. And what you want to do with this is to burnish them in with your finger. And that will bring that dark, um, rich black color through there. Pushing all your microbeads into the um, self-adhesive sticky sheet behind it. And it will take off all the extra bits. And do a little tapping, and there you go. So you have a gorgeous background. You can use that all by itself, add a flower, a little sentiment. You can layer on top of that. It's absolutely stunning, and you have that really rich textural look from the different um, heights of the gilding flakes and the microbeads. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've got a couple of them. Um, I've got an example here of just using the gilding flakes with die cuts. I mean, there's just so many things you can do with them. They're a stunning accessory and a really important part of your card making, I think.